Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Tapshi Tech and Reviews. So today, let's see how to convert your physical SIM, uh, so especially Airtel SIM, uh, you know, into a eSIM on your eSIM uh, enabled handsets. Uh, so in my case, it will be iPhone. So what we'll be doing is uh, we'll convert our uh, physical SIM uh, to eSIM without, you know, doing a lot of struggles. So yeah, let's see exactly that. So let's get in the video. Please enjoy. So let me quickly show you all how to, you know, um, activate eSIM on your <coughs> iPhone uh, on an Airtel network. So this is my Airtel SIM which I have. So has, whenever I send, uh, you know, for an eSIM request, whenever I do, I get a message like uh, not um, could not be processed, has an email ID you have shared is not registered against your number, something like that. So I've tried all the methods. I tried updating on the Airtel app itself, but it's not working. So finally, I visited uh, Airtel store uh, to update it. Uh, so once they took the request and processed it, I got a mail like this. So dear customer, we have received an email ID update request for Airtel number and uh, the email ID which I have provided. So again, we'll have to send a confirm message uh, after the request they have taken. You receive a confirm message like this. Uh, so you just send confirm to that same number one to one. And then you will get a message like thank you, we have uh, received the confirmation to update email ID as per the request raised against your Airtel number. And then once this is done, you can send out a mail again, uh, you can send out a SMS again like eSIM e and uh, you can provide uh, your email ID. Uh, once you send that email ID, you will get a message this time, a different message you can see this time. Dear customer, we have received the email request. Uh, for Airtel number, uh, proceed uh, only if you have a eSIM enabled handset. So you have to uh, reply with one within 60 seconds. So I uh, replied with one and then and then they will send out a message like thank you, we will call you shortly to reconfirm your eSIM uh, change request. And uh, your eSIM change request will be cancelled if we do not receive your consent on the call. So that's what they say. And that's what after some time we'll get some time we'll get a call from uh, Airtel customer care um, wherein you'll have to you know confirm uh, by uh, pressing four on your uh, keypad to confirm eSIM activation. So once you do that, that's when you get a mail like this uh, with um, a QR which can be used you know to scan on your uh, eSIM enabled handset. Um, you can uh, scan this QR uh, on your, your eSIM enabled uh, handset. So let me do that. This is how the QR will look like. Uh, so then what you have to do is simple. You'll have to so you'll have to go to your iPhone, go to mobile data. There is something called as add eSIM. Click on that. So then you will get two options either to transfer from a nearby iPhone or use QR code. Let's use a QR code. So let's select QR code and uh, then show the QR you know for uh, scanning. So once the QR is scanned you will get you will hear a vibration or you will feel a vibration on your iPhone. So it's processing in the background you can see over here in the top right. It is processing. It says uh, to activate eSIM. An eSIM from Airtel is ready to be activated on this iPhone. You can click on continue. So it takes some time for updating. And then it says connecting to the network. So once that is done, you will see a continue button. So you will see some difference in the uh, network, you know, where the network is shown, there will be some new things which will be showing up, new dots below the you know, network thing. So something like this. Now let's click on continue and uh, it says label for, uh, so it's basically asking for the uh, labels. So let's ignore this. Let's keep it as it is and click on next. Um, default, it's asking for the default line. Um, your default line is used to call or send messages to people who are not in your contacts. The people in your contacts can be assigned to a preferred line at any time in the contacts app. So let me choose any. Uh, let me choose primary itself and click on continue. Let's click on continue. Uh, let's 
enable allow mobile data uh, switching uh, let's select uh, primary as the mobile data uh, which we need so personal is a new uh, airtel uh, network which have uh, you know eSIM has been activated with so i'm just keeping primary as the you know default one click on done and then so it's still saying activating so it will be activated in some time so that's how you activate you know uh, eSIM on your iPhone on an Airtel network so yeah th it's that simple so in some time uh, the network will be activated uh, Airtel network will be activated on uh, this iPhone and it will be deactivated on my uh, other phone where there is a physical SIM so it's still activating I guess it's it will take some more time uh, so let's wait for some more time for this to activate but finally it will get activated and you should start seeing the network bar on the top right uh, for your Airtel uh, SIM as well so yeah that was a quick video on how to you know uh, enable uh, or activate eSIM on your iPhone or uh, eSIM enabled handset so once the eSIM is activated on your uh, iPhone or the, any other device where the eSIM uh, is you know uh, present um, this is how it should be it should be shown as personal should be shown as on and um, you know, on the top you should see uh, both the you know, network box network box the secondary will be shown in dots and the primary will be the normal uh, network box bars and yeah finally um, uh, and I activated uh, eSIM on my iPhone it was a quick process on uh, Airtel network not sure about others so yeah if it was helpful let me know in the comment section so hope everyone uh, liked the video hope it was useful so especially the first thing what you need to do is uh, you need to send a eSIM space your email ID to 121 and see if email error comes up if the email error comes up then you'll have to you know contact your customer care or go to the Airtel store and update it and then everything else can be done from our end itself then you need to just send uh, eSIM space the email id which you registered and then uh, you know confirm uh, twice or something and uh, you'll get an email with the QR and you need to scan uh, on your iPhone and uh, transfer your physical SIM to eSIM as simple as that so if you liked it, please do the like button, subscribe, comment. Let's catch you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.